Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to our Port Swigger Web Security Academy series. Here we are solving all the labs, doing all the things, getting all the badges for the apprentice or whatever. I don't know if they badge you, but the apprentice track in the Port Swigger Web Security Academy. Booyah, that's what we're doing. Walking that through, doing some solves. It's been a lot of fun so far. We got a, oh, we got a doozy. We got a good one here. Uh, the last one that we did was very similar to this, right? This lab is going to be the user ID controlled by a request parameter with unpredictable user IDs. So if you remember in the previous episode of this, if you look in, in the playlist for this, all of this should be in order. So if we're watching this out of order, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know you're, you're horribly confused at this point. But go look in the playlist and you'll see the order in which these are in. The previous video from this one we we fiddled with a cookie, right? And it's admin equals true. This is kind of like that. And in that episode, I said, it seems like an iDoor. I'm, I'm not sure if that's iDoor properly or not, but this one definitely is. This is definitely an iDoor. And what we do here, and let's just take a look at the, um, uh, they give us the instructions here. The lab is a horizontal privilege escalation vulnerability. Remember, horizontal being this way doesn't necessarily mean, right? If we were going for admin, we're not admin, we're, we're going to admin, that would be vertical. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I get these confused. And, and then horizontal would be, well, I'm, I'm going to another user and I'm, I'm gaining whatever privileges that they have. Okay? So horizontal privilege escalation vulnerability on the user account page but identifies users with GUIDs or globally unique identifiers. To solve the lab, find the GUID for Carlos. Carlos, you filthy swine. We hate you for whatever reason, man. I don't, I don't know who writes this lab, but Carlos has got, you know, he, he, he's made no friends <laughs> at Port Swigger. Uh, then submit their API key as the solution. You can log into your own account using the following credentials. Wiener Peter mm, never gets old. It's always funny. <laughs> this week I was talking about the new Microsoft product called Meet. And then they updated their power toys. Okay. Uh, the name, like I guess we are children, right? We just continue. Right. Yes, it's M-E-E-T, not M-E-A-T, but hey, whatever. <laughs> so let's get to solving this lab, shall we? I'm just going to use Burp Suite for this. Because why not, right? I think this is just going to be the easiest, like I said, easiest way to do things is the way this guy likes to do things. So we're just going to use Burp Suite for this. I've already got Burp running. I've already got the lab fired up. Wait, we don't have to wait for all that action. And let's just say I click the link. I'm, I'm on the lab. Here we go. I'm going to start looking around. I've got a submit solution. So obviously when I find my API key, I'm going to hit the submit solution. And then I've got home, I've got my account. So we're at the home and we have, we like to blog. So this is a blog site. And we've got a blog about the lies people tell. We can view that post. And we've got a blog about the people circus. Uh, we can view that post. And we've got this lovely lady with her rose looking very tired. 21st century dreaming. So sweet. Anyway, you can read that post. I don't know what that's all about. So it's just a, a blog site, right? And there's a bunch of them here. That's cool. So I got some blogs. I, I think I'll bop onto, okay, lies people tell. I'll click on this. And anything in particularly here, I do see that it was written by Carlos. And I can click on that. I'll click on Carlos. This probably just shows all the blogs yeah this is all the posts that carlos made which just happens to be this first one that's fine and then what else do we have let's go to my accounts right because i don't think i've logged in yet yeah so let's log in and old wiener is our username and our password is peter log that joker in and no bitwarden i don't need you to save that thank you though and then of course let's see here on my account we get Oh, that's a little jankin' up here. Uh, my username is Wiener, and my API key is this contraption here. Cool. And I've got a place to update my email. All right. 
That's interesting. Um, now, go back here. You'll remember they said to solve the lab, find the, the GUID for Carlos. Now, we've been kind of bopping around a little bit in our little lab. It's been fun. It's a nice, nice blog site you got there. But there's, there's, there's quite a bit to it. And one of the things we can use to help us kind of get the lay of the land when it comes to our targets is the target tab in Burp Suite. So let's go look in there. So here, this is where I normally am. And I can use this, right? I can see all sorts of stuff here. This can be useful, right? Obviously, I spend most of my time under the proxy tab in HTTP history looking at, at requests and responses. But sometimes you can kind of get the same feel by going here and, and you might get more from, so under the target tab, under sitemap, you might see more under the sitemap, at least on, on first set, um, than you do under the proxy HTTP history tab. And that's because it's just kind of anything that gets grabbed, anything that gets touched, you might not see that stuff or you might not, you know, but it's just logging it here uh, in the sitemap. And as I look here, I see right there, jumps right out. This is blogs, question mark, right? Which is that query string in a URL. User ID equals 51362D88, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's go back to the here. So that means, uh, right, back to the lab. Let me see up here. What's going on there? So we see my account ID equals D174BB8D. Ah, interesting. Very interesting indeed. So it this is this is the no-no. This is an eye door, right? This is a I should not see my ID here and be able to manipulate that. Um because what happens if I change this to somebody? What if I'm able to discover some enumerate somebody else's ID. Yeah, like Carlos's, right? Or anybody else, honestly. What if I saw the admins? What if I saw that? And if I'm remembering, uh, you know, let's let's take a look at something here. Let's go home. And remember, Carlos was a clickable link. So when we viewed this Lies People Tell post, and then we saw Carlos, if I hover to discover... I'm just going to click on that. Okay. Booyah. That's where we're getting that. I don't know if you can see that right here. User ID 5136D288. That was not the one that I just saw. This is now like, this is messed up, right? Because it thinks that. So all I have to do is feed it this user ID, you know, copy and paste kind of thing. So copy that. Right, or I can go over here in a burp suite, and that's why I'm seeing that there. That user ID, and it can tell me it was going for the blogs user ID equals, and it just grabbed Carlos's blog because it's identifying Carlos by his GUID. No, not at least not in a UR. I mean, come on, man. This is, <laughs> of course, it's a lab. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, so what we're supposed to do is let's go back. And remember, let's read those because I always forget exactly what they want to do. They want me to get his API key. Gotcha. So when I went to my accounts, it showed me my username and my API key, right? So I copied that. I don't even need Burp Suite for this, right? It's right here in the URL. Schlablang. Paste that in because I already copied it. And since we're going to the my account endpoint and slapping in the ID, that's what's happening, right? This page is called my accounts. And based off of whatever user ID or GUID that it sees, it gives you the information for said account, like their API key. If I hit enter, you'll see that that API key has now changed to this, which we now copy. Hit submit solution, slap the answer in there, hit paste, hit okay. And look at that. Oh man, it's a good day at the beach when we win these things, right? 
Lots of fun had for the old lab. Thanks, Sports Wigger. Well, we look forward to uh, doing some more labs in the future. But now, hopefully, you start to see why, like, eye doors are like, whoa, that's not good. Really good bug bounty fodder. Go out there and find some eye doors and submit some bug bounty um, uh, disclosures. That, that, that could be a good time for you right there. And maybe even make a little money, depending on the, the, on, on the, um, the program. So there you go, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching. And until the next lab, keep hacking.